generating patterns. Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing about patterns and sequences. Our objectives for today are Number 1. To define patterns and sequences. Number 2. List the next few terms of a sequence given a few consecutive terms. Number 3. Generate the next terms of a sequence suggested by your rule. Before we start, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be updated with the video lessons of Pinoy Math. To start with, let us define what is a pattern. A pattern constitutes a set of numbers or objects in which all the members are related with each other by a specific rule. It can also be defined as things arranged following a certain rule. Sa Tagalog, ang pattern ay katipunan ng mga bagay o numero na may sinusunod na panuntunan o galaw. So what are the patterns that you can see? Ayon kay Roger Antonsen, isang kilalang logician and computer scientist, mathematics is the key to understanding the world. Why? It is because the world follows a certain pattern. Gaya na lang ng pagsikat at paglubog ng araw. The sun rises due east in the morning and sets due west in the evening. Another example. The colors of the rainbow follow a pattern with acronym YTBIV. It stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and the last is violet. There are many patterns for neckties and shoelaces. May mga patterns din ng music. Wheels are round. T-shirts have four holes for the head, arms, and torso. Most puzzles also have patterns, including ribas puzzles and games like Rubik's Cubes. As we have mentioned earlier, not only objects follow patterns, but also numbers. In mathematics, a set of numbers or objects that follow a specific pattern is called a sequence or progression. The elements of the sequence are called terms. We call the first element as first term, the second element as second term, the third as third term, and so on and so forth. Ang mga sumusunod ay halimbawa ng sequence. Sa unang sequence ay makikita na ang pattern ay nagdagdag ng 3 sa unang term, then sa sumunod ay nagdagdag naman ng 5, sunod ay 3 uli, at 5 na naman. So ang pattern ng sequence ay adding 3 and 5 alternately. Ang nararapat na term sa blank ay 39 at sumunod ay 42. In the next sequence, ang odd terms, first, third, fifth term, and so on, ay numbers starting from 9 and decreasing by 1. So, ang first term ay 9, ang third term ay 8, ang fifth term ay 7, and so on and so forth. So, even terms naman, ang second term ay A. Then, ang fourth term ay C, which clearly shows na naglalaktaw ng isang letter. Therefore, the next terms are G and 5 respectively.
sa susunod na sequence, you're adding 3, then subtracting 1. The next terms are 18, 17, 20, and 19. And here, every two consecutive letters of the alphabet starting from A are together but are interchanged in position. The next terms are J-I, L-K, N-M, and P-O. We also have to know that if a sequence has limited terms, it is finite. The sequence of the days in a week is an example of a finite sequence. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Nothing follows. The set of counting numbers less than 10 is also a finite sequence. It starts with 1 and ends with 9. If there are unlimited number of terms, then the sequence is infinite. Sa Tagalog, walang katapusan. Infinite sequences have a comma and three dots at the end. The three dot symbol is called ellipsis. So pag infinite sequence, may makikita kang tatlong dots after ng last comma. Ano ulit tawag doon? Ellipsis. The number of COVID-19 patients will be infinite if there will be no social distancing and no observance of health protocols. Kaya sumunod tayo, gumamit ng face mask at face shield pag lumabas at ugaliing maghugas ng kamay. The sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and ellipsis is also an infinite sequence. Please note that the next terms are obtained by multiplying the previous terms by 2. Remember that there could be different patterns for sequences. In some sequences, you multiply the terms by constants like 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on and so forth. In 3, 7, 11, 15, we are adding 4. In the sequence 5, 3, 1, negative 1, and negative 3, we are adding negative 2. And in the sequence 1, 4, 9, 16. These are the squares of the counting numbers starting from 1. Let us try if we can determine the patterns in the next examples. What should be the next two terms in the sequence 12, 7, 2. If your answer is negative 3 and negative 8, then you are correct. How did you get it? Very good. The pattern is adding negative 5 or subtracting 5. For the sequence 100, 50, 25, what is the next term? The correct answer is either 25 over 2 or 12.5. You are dividing by 2 or multiplying by 1 half. There are instances when the terms of the sequence are not given, 
but only the general rule or recurrence relation. Example number one. Find the first three terms of the sequence defined by a of n equals 4n plus 5. Dito, binigay ang general rule, yung equation or yung tinatawag natin na recurrence relation, at ang hinahanap ay ang first three terms o yung unang tatlong terms ng sequence. Dito ay kailangan lang natin isa-isahin na substitute ang 1 sa n para sa first term, 2 naman pag ang hinahanap na ay ang second term, at 3 pag third term. So, ang makukuha natin na unang tatlong terms ay 9, 13, at 17. So, paano kung ang hinahanap ay 8 term naman? Simple, isubstitute ang 8 sa n. Example number 2. Find the first five terms of the sequence defined by a of n is equal to 3n squared plus 2. To get the first five terms, we just substitute 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to the equation, then solve. The first five terms are 5, 14, 29, 50, and 77. You may also encounter worded problems which are applications of sequence. Example, a certain culture of bacteria doubles every hour. If there are 8 bacteria at the beginning, how many will be there after 4 hours? Solve the problem, doubling means multiplying by 2. So the number of bacteria after 1 hour is 16, 32 after 2 hours, 64 after 3 hours, and finally 128 after 4 hours. The answer is therefore 128. Take note. That 8, 16, 31, 64, 128 is also a sequence that involves multiplying by a constant number. Patterns and sequences play a significant role in our lives. I hope you enjoyed watching and learning. Thank you and please don't forget to subscribe to Pinoy Math.